Hey family, welcome to I Love Me, Me, Me and My Love Room. Today is an actual special one, at least in my eyes, because we're going to discuss the common reasons why relationships don't last. And I personally don't even like to think about this, but this is a reality. And I am personally trying to help to decrease the divorce rate with my thought-provoking relationship content. So, this is a reality. I want to decrease it. Let's talk about the common reasons why relationships don't last. Stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, some of the common reasons why relationships don't last. This is just my list, but of course, there are several other reasons. So the very first reason why our relationships have a tendency to die and not last is because we stop making them a priority. In the beginning, we're chasing after one another. We are very happy to see each other. We're making sure that we're going out on dates and talking about different things and where we're going in life and opening up and connecting and blah, blah, blah. And after a while, we stop making them a priority because now we got the person. Oh, I got you. I don't have to work as hard. That's absolutely a falsehood. Please understand that, that that is a falsehood. What you do to get the person is the very thing you have to continue to do in order to keep them. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Number two, we fail to communicate openly and honestly. Another reason, start off the relationship in a big fat lie, and then you have to continuously lie, 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 lie. Just don't even start it off with a lie. You have to be open and honest about who you are. If the person does not accept you with you being open and honest, they are not your mate. Don't set yourself up for failure. Don't set yourself up to be a part of the statistics. Don't do it. Be open and honest. Continue to communicate. They say communication is the key. It absolutely is. A lot of us have a horrible time communicating. A lot of us don't even know how to communicate. Okay? Be open and honest. Number three. Sometimes we have a tendency to focus more on our hobbies and interests than we do on our family and our mate. Hobbies and interests way up here. Family down here. It's not balanced. It's not balanced. Balance it out. Number four. Some people are just so very guilty of this. And it actually even saddens me to hear people jumping into relationships. So number four, that they, they never dealt with the baggage or issues before they enter into this particular relationship. So let's just think about, I'll just give you one or two. Your last man cheated on you. So instead of you stepping back and taking a relationship detox, meaning away from relationships for a period of time, you met this other cutie, and now you got into that relationship. But guess what? That person that cheated on you, you didn't let that go. You thought you did, but you didn't. You know why? Because this new person, everything that they do, you want to know where they at, what time they're going to be there, you calling, you might even be in your car stalking. Oh, he ain't called me back, or she ain't called me back, X, Y, and Z time. Now, as soon as they call, you giving them an attitude giving them the third degree because automatically they out there cheating because your last boot cheated on you. Deal with them issues. Or you was in an abusive relationship. And so now instead of you learning how to communicate openly and honestly about that, every time the person makes you angry, you want to hit them because that's the way you know how to communicate. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's not it. That's not how you do it. Deal with your issues, deal with your baggage before you get into your new relationship. This will also help to decrease the probability of you guys breaking up. And definitely if you walk down the aisle, this will decrease you being a statistic. All right? Number five, date nights are something that have to continue after you get into this relationship. It, they can't just stop. They actually can't stop at all. The, the couples that I know that are together 
and have been for years, one of the secrets that they say that kept them together is they continuously dated. Another secret is they talk about how they laugh all the time together. They have a lot of inside jokes. So continuously keep the date light, uh, excuse me, continuously keep the date night in rotation. Even if you're trying to reach a goal, I get it, because sometimes we get with our partner, but we still want to reach this particular goal. Write that into your calendar. Some of y'all might think that that's silly, but if you're making sure, and you're a calendar person, if you're making sure that you write them in on your calendar, you won't forget about your date night, because you're going to see it the whole week on your calendar. Whenever you check it, you're going to see it the whole week, and you're going to have a mental note. Okay, I need to wrap this up, because I need to go be out with boo. I need to go back and connect with Boo. I need to do what I do after I connect with Boo. <laughs> All right, so make date nights a priority. Number six, you're so desperate to be in a relationship that you just choose anybody that wink at you. <clears throat> Dang, they winking at me. Anybody that show you any type of attention, you all in. Don't matter what they're giving to you. They might be giving you all of the horrible signs in the world, all of the red flags in the world that they're showing you. But because they gave you that little bit of attention and you're so thirsty for some attention, you're just going along with the program. You're not asking any questions. Anything that they want to do on their schedule, you're just doing it because you're so thirsty for any type of attention. You are setting yourself up for one of these common reasons why relationships don't last. Don't be a part of the statistic. If they don't meet your qualifications, move on with life. Don't be so scary and so lonely that you're going to be alone for umpteen years and just settle for anything. It's a recipe for disaster. Absolutely. Food for thought. <laughs> Food for thought. Number seven, you guys have a tendency for some reason to stop showing each other love and respect. I made a video about that. Love and respect are the number one things. And I said number one things because love is the number one thing for women. Respect is the number one thing for the man. So these are the number one things that have to occur in your relationship in order for it not to be one of the common reasons why it doesn't last. Love and respect your partner. Love and respect your partner. The, the very last thing that I want to bring to your attention is actually the three biggest reasons why couples and marriages do not last. The very three. Money, sex, and children for some reason y'all money is not adding up or maybe y'all struggling financially whatever maybe one person's making more they're not sharing they're being very stingy or when when their money come in they give you like two hundred dollars now they made three thousand i don't know I, I don't know i'm just throwing out a number but they're giving you two hundred y'all finance is not together or maybe somebody lost their job. And I'm not just saying they just lost their job and they not trying to find another one. They just kick back now. Letting you do all the work. They sitting over there like, oh man, I'm going to watch this TV today. They ain't put in an application. They didn't go on no job interviews. They didn't go to do nothing. You left, they was in their PJs. You came home, they in their PJs. And the house filthy. Just saying. Moving on. Sex. If you have not watched my sex compatibility questions that you should be asking, go ahead. I'll put the link right up here. Go ahead and check out that video. Um, yes, so sex is another thing that is one of the most common reasons why relationships do not last. Ask those questions. Understand who your partner is. Don't be judgmental. If you're not into that thing sexually, then it's okay. The very last thing is children. A lot, a lot of times, specifically women, now don't get me wrong, men do this as well, and I mean want children. But sometimes the woman wants it more, wants it today. She wanted nine months ago. <laughs> or 
you just never have the discussion at all about children. And some people even take it as far as going down the aisle or to the justice of peace or whatever, not even having this conversation about children. Why? Why are you doing that to yourself? If you're one of the people that don't want children, make that clear very early on. Women, if they say, if I'm sorry, not they, if he says that he does not want children, believe him. It's okay. But don't set yourself up to become a nag later on about having children. Most of the time, we know what we want in our lives. And that doesn't mean that it's, you know, going to go our way. But just don't set yourself up for a continuous argument for no reason. Why? Why are we doing that? Why? Why are we doing that? Just, just no reason to even do that to yourself. Don't set yourself up for things that you don't have to. It's okay. So these are my top eight common reasons that relationships and marriages do not last. Do your very best not to fall into one of these categories and continuously make your relationship a priority. Talk to some of these older couples that you see that are still happy. They're still holding hands. Go hold a conversation with them. One thing that I do love about older people is that they are not afraid to share their ups and downs in their relationship. They done been there. They done done that. They can let you know, no, this was some hard work. Because some of us out here have these unrealistic expectations with relationships. We think that they're easy. We watch these Hollywood movies and they got us snowed, as my mama say, which means got us food. Got us food that in two hours you're going to meet your mate and we're going to be blissfully happy and they're uh, happy and there are not going to be any problem. Don't set yourself up for that. That's not a real relationship. So talk to real people. Ask them questions on what it took. It's okay. If you're going to talk to an older couple, even if you don't have any older couples within your family life or people that you see all the time, the next time you see an older couple out on the street, go hold a conversation with them. Man, that's some of the best information you will get about relationships. Anyway, if you guys like this video, definitely give me a thumbs up. Hit this red subscribe button right here so you can keep up with all of my thought-provoking relationship content, my book reviews, and my movie reviews. I will see you guys in the next video. All right? Deuces.